ఎస్ నర్మద అసిస్టెంట్ ప్రొఫెసర్ డిపార్ట్మెంట్ ఆఫ్ ఆర్టిఫిషియల్ ఇంటెలిజెన్స్ అండ్ డేటా సైన్స్ కేస కాలేజ్ ఆఫ్ ఆర్ట్స్ అండ్ సైన్స్ గవర్నమెంట్ తిరుచనూరు నో వీ అదొంటు సి అబౌట్ ఫౌండేషన్ ఆఫ్ ఆర్టిఫిషియల్ ఇంటెలిజెన్స్ ఇంట్రడక్షన్ టు ఏఐ ఏఐ ఆర్టిఫిషియల్ ఇంటెలిజెన్స్ రిఫర్స్ టు దెమ్ సిమలేషన్ ఆఫ్ హ్యూమన్ ఇంటెలిజెన్స్ ఇన్ మెషిన్స్ దట్ ఆర్ ప్రోగ్రామ్ టు థింక్ లర్న్ అండ్ ప్రాబ్లమ్ సాల్వ్ లైక్ హ్యూమన్స్ ఇట్ ఎన్ కంపాసెస్ అ వైడ్ రేంజ్ ఆఫ్ టెక్నిక్స్ ఇన్క్లూడింగ్ మెషిన్ లర్నింగ్ నాచురల్ లాంగ్వేజ్ ప్రాసెసింగ్ కంప్యూటర్ విషన్ రోబోటిక్స్ అండ్ మోర్ The goal of AI is to develop systems that can perform tasks that typically require human intelligence. Next, we are going to see about agents and environment. Agent. An agent can be anything from a simple program to a complex robotic system or even a human. It is characterized by its capacity to perceive its environment and take actions to achieve its goal and or objectives. Agents are typically classified based on their degree of autonomy ranging from reactive agents that respond directly to environmental stimuli to cognitive agents capable of reasoning and planning. Next is the environment. The environment encompasses everything external to the agent that can influence its behavior or be influenced by it. It includes physical entities such as objects and other agents as well as abstract elements like rules, laws or protocols. Environments in AI can be deterministic or stochastic, fully or partially observable, episodic or sequential, static or dynamic and discrete or continuous as mentioned in the previous response. The next we are going to see the concept of rationality. Rationality in the context of AI refers to the ability of an intelligent agent to make decisions that lead to the achievement of its goal or objectives given its perception of the environment and the available information. The next is the nature of environments. The nature of environments in AI refers to the context or setting in which an AI system operates and interacts with its surroundings. Here you have some common types of environments in AI, deterministic versus stochastic, fully observable versus partially observable, episodic versus sequential, static versus dynamic, discrete versus continuous. The next we are going to see about the structure of agents, problem solving agents. In AI, problem solving agents are designed to find solutions to the complex problems by searching through a space of possible states and actions. These agents typically consist of several components each contributing to the process of problem solving. They are the problem formulation, state representation, search algorithm, evaluation function, search strategy, action selection, solution execution, learning and adaptation. The first thing is a search algorithm. Search algorithms in AI are used by agents to navigate through large problem spaces in order to find a solution to a given problem. These algorithms systematically explore the space of possible states and actions aiming to find a path from an initial state to a goal state. There are various search algorithms. They are the BFS, DFS, UCS, LDLS, uh, iterativity, uh, D, uh, opening depth first search, A search, greedy per best first search, beam search, bi-directional search, simulated annealing. The uniform search strategies, which is also known as blind search strategies, are the algorithms used in AI to explore a search space without any knowledge about the problem other than the initial state and the actions available from each state. The next is the unit 2, heuristic search strategies. Best first search uses a priority queue and expands the most promising node first. A search combines the cost to reach the node and the estimated cost from the node to the goal. Greedy best first search expands the node that appears to be closest to the goal using the heuristic function. Beam search a variation of best first search that explores a fixed number of the most promising nodes at each level. Then is the heuristic functions. Here you have admissible heuristic, consistent heuristic, common heuristics. Never overestimates the cost to reach the goal. Consistent heuristic, the estimated cost from the current node to the goal is no greater than the cost from the current node to a neighbor plus the cost from the neighbor to the goal. Common heuristics, uh, the Hamming distance, the domain specific heuristics tailored to the particular problems. Next is the local search and optimization problems. Here you have local search, hill climbing, simulated annealing, genetic algorithms, local beam search. Hill climbing moves to the neighboring states with higher values uses prob- probabilistic decisions to avoid getting stuck in local maxima by occasionally accepting worse states based on the temperature parameter. Genetic it uses operations inspired by natural evaluation to evolve solutions over generations. Local beam search keeps track of case states rather than promoting diversity in the search. Optimization problem you have continuous space, global versus local optimization constraints. It involves optimizing functions 
where variables can take any value within a range. Global optimization seeks the absolute best solution, while local optimization may settle for the best in a local neighborhood. Constraints, real-world problems often include constraints that limit the solution space. Then local search in the continuous space. Local search algorithms are commonly used for optimization problems where the solution space is continuous. Then search with non-deterministic actions. Non-deterministic actions have uncertain outcomes, that is contingency plans and or search trees. Search in partially observable environments. The partially obs observable environments are environments where the agent does not have full knowledge of the current state. Belief states are a representation of all possible states the agent might be. Partially observable Markov decision process. The frameworks for decision making that accounts for partial observability and stochastic outcomes. Sensor models used to update belief states based on observations. Online search agents and unknown environments. Online search agents perform actions to explore the environment and gather information as they go instead of having a pre-computer plan based on a complete model of the environment. The characteristics are incremental, adaptable, real-time decision making. The unknown environments are dynamic, partial observability, exploration versus exploitation. The next is the game theory in unit 3. The game theory in AI is a mathematical framework for modeling and analyzing strategic interactions among multiple decision makers called players who have conflicting interests. These decision makers can be individuals organizations or entities with different goals and they must make choices while taking into account the actions of others. Game theory provides a systematic way to study and understand the dynamics of such interactions, predict outcomes and design strategies to achieve favorable results. The next is optimal decision in games. Optimal decision making in games through AI involves combination of strategy and techniques from various fields such as machine learning, game theory, computational intelligence. Search algorithms, reinforcement learning, game theory, valuation algorithms, neural networks, ad advisory training, simulation and Monte Carlo methods are used in this decisions in games. The next is the alpha beta search. Alpha beta search is a popular optimization technique used in game playing algorithms, especially in advisory search scenarios like those encountered in games such as chess, checkers and go. Alpha beta search is powerful technique that makes the minimax algorithm more efficient by pruning branches that don't influence the final decision. Monte Carlo tree search, which is called as MCTS, is a popular algorithm used in AI for decision making in games and other domains with large state spaces. The next is the stochastic games. It is also known as Markov games are a generalization of Markov decision process to multiple agents. The types of stochastic games are cooperative stochastic games, competitive stochastic games, mixed motor stochastic games. In partially observable games, partially observable games are also known as partially observable stochastic games are an extension of stochastic games where agents have limited or imperfect information about the current state of the environment. The type of partially observable games are partially observable Markov decision process, decentralized uh, POMDPs, partially observable stochastic games. The next is the constraint satisfaction problems. The CSPs are a fundamental class of problems in AI that involve finding values for variables under a certain constraint. The type of CSPs are binary CSPs, NRA CSPs, finite and infinite domains, soft and hard constraints. The constraint propagation is a fundamental technique used in AI to reduce the search space of constraint satisfaction problems by systematically eliminating values from the domains of variables that cannot participate in any valid solution. The process involves enforcing local, local consistency properties across the constraints until no more values can be proved. The next is the backtracking search for CSP. It is a fundamental algorithmic technique commonly used to solve constraint satisfaction problems in the field of AI. These CSPs are mathematical problems defined by a set of objects whose state must satisfy a number of constraints or limitations. The next is the structure of CSP, sorry, local search for CSP. Local search is an alternative to backtracking for solving CSP. Local search provides a powerful and flexible approach to solving CSP. The structure of CSP, the structure of constraint satisfaction problem in AI can be formally defined by three main components, variables, domains and constraints. Thank you.